10. Hey, hi guys, General Splatton here. I'm going to be doing a base for the game grind that you see there by Privateer Press. And this is the materials you're going to need. You're going to need that is a sanding disc or sanding grid for sheetrock or drywall. You may know it. What I'm going to be using here is I'm going to, because the game is played over a lava field according to the box. What I'm doing is the only thing I could think of that I had that I could use for as post to raise the grid above the lava field was a pencil. So I'm cutting them about three quarters of an inch long to get them ready to glue down to the base. Now don't worry about the base. You saw some holes in the bottom of it. That's going to be covered by uh, some silicone that I'm going to be using in a moment. And you see the holes in the base there. So I'm laying out my grid. And I'm just going to glue each one down. I'm checking to see the height and see which one I want to discard. Then just glue them down to the base. Once I use the silicone to create the lava, then it will cover over the holes and you don't have to worry about if there's any bleed out of the super glue onto the rest of the bottom. I'm using gel super glue. I find that the gel is easier to control and works so much easier, at least for me, than the regu regular liquid type. Now, what I'm putting on there is a super glue activator, so it will cure instantly. Instant glue is not instant enough for us, I guess, these days, at least not for me. So, there it is. One thing I wouldn't recommend if you do use a pencil, to I did not sand those beforehand. Now I've got some uh, poly, uh, just some polystyrene that has a little bit of a grid. That's why I'm able to draw that straight line like that. And I'm just going to cut it off and make strips to have a platform for the mesh to lay on. I'm just cutting it to length and seeing how much I'm going to need. Then I'm just going to make a cross pattern so that way the model, once I put it on top, will have a little more firm foundation. And that's it. Now, I just put the base up there. See, I need a little overhang. I put the base up there from the bottom side and just cut around it in a circle. This makes excellent grading material, even in the, to the scale of uh, the 32 inch. Uh, or 32 millimeter figures or even smaller so it's a good pattern you can use this for fencing you can use it for grading a lot of different uses for the sanding pads there it is that's uh, liquid nails uh, clear seal it's a silicone type based product I recommend 100% silicone don't get uh, siliconized latex caulk. Uh, having trouble with this tube because the air bubbles are up toward the nozzle so as you'll see in a moment what I end up doing is just slashing it open and squeezing it out that way. And just take a toothpick or whatever you use <clears throat> spread it around on the base. And like I said be best to use 100% silicone won't break down don't recommend siliconized uh, latex caulk. You could use white if you wanted to here because it's going to be uh, primed and painted. doesn't have to be clear. does need a little ventilation though unless you're like me and you like getting high. No. <laughs> but there is some vapors that you got to be aware of if you use a silicone based product. Just clean up any edges. Now this isn't going to go flat because I've got the posts in the way and so it's hard to get in there and really flatten things out. But you could if you needed to, if you had a more open space to work in.
now I'll just wet my finger and smooth out the top that way the silicone won't stick to your finger or whatever you use to smooth it out for the final preparation spit works great now I'm just assembling it and seeing how I'm scoring it so I can put the two grids together or two support beams together before I put the grid on it making sure I've got it about centered up which I did not it was just off slightly it wasn't a good straight cross and put a lot of super glue on it to adhere the mesh to use the activator speed it up process trim the little support beams to fit now that is Reaper Lava Orange going to do a dry brush on, on the bottom side found out that I really just needed to use it straight and not try to dry brush it because it wouldn't show up that orange doesn't show up on the black real well and I would be there forever so I just kind of painted it on this gives me a glow effect from the lava beneath now you can start to see where I'm just painting it on it goes a lot faster that way this would have been a much longer video but I sped it up four times to get it in in a reasonable amount, reasonable amount of time The base is completed. There's my lava field. Scrape off the top so the super glue will have good adhesion. I've done lava bases tutorials before in the past. Didn't want to show that on camera to cut down the time on and length of this video. Super glue on the posts on top. Glue it down. And there you pretty much have it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. I hope you would uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment. This is General Splatton.